Palermo is the modern capital of Sicily. It is in northwest Sicily on the Gulf of Palermo. It lies in a basin called the Golden Basin by the Arabs. Palermo has a natural port and enjoys spectacular sea views from Monte Pellegrino. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for Arab, Norman, Byzantine sites including Shefalu and Monreale. The patron saint of Palermo is Santa Rosalia. To learn more about La Bella Sicilia, consider subscribing. The area of Palermo is believed to have been populated from about 8,000 years before Christ. Examples of cave drawings can be found at Adara. Early settlers were Sicani who arrived from Spain. The first Greek settlement was Peleopolis, Old City, in contrast to the later settlement Neopolis, New City, which was built during the 5th century BC. Neopolis was built with strong walls in recognition of potential threats from across the seas. Neopolis developed around a primary street, which is today Cozzo Vittorio Emanuele. In 734 BC, the Phoenicians, who were traders from Palestine, built the town of Ziz in this area. The Phoenicians connected the natural port of Ziz to the mountains and a precursor to today's Cozzo Calatafimi. Carthage, North Africa, was Ziz's major trading partner under the Phoenicians. During the Sicilian Wars between the Greeks of Syracuse and the Phoenicians, Panormus was looted by Hermocrates of Syracuse in 409 BC. In 276 BC, during the Pyrrhic War, Panormus was overwhelmed by Greek forces led by Pyrrhus of Epirus. Phoenician Carthage control resumed in 275 BC, but Panormus was overrun by the Romans in 254 BC. Syracuse allied with the Romans to expel the Carthaginians from the island during the First Punic War in 256 BC. Carthage made a further failed attempt to reconquer Panormus in 251 BC. Theodad sent Pope Agapetus I to Constantinople in 535 AD to plead for a Byzantine campaign to Sicily. A small Byzantine task force did indeed travel to Sicily and enjoyed great success. Muslim forces from North Africa began raiding Byzantine Sicily in 652. The Muslims of Sicily were bolstered by 30,000 Muslims from Iberia, Spain, and captured Palermo after a year-long siege in 831. Panormus was the capital of the Emirate of Sicily, replacing Syracuse as the capital. The Arabs renamed Panormus to Balaam, a precursor to the modern-day name of Palermo. The Emirate of Sicily existed between 831 to 1091 AD. It was ruled by the Sunni Aglabid dynasty from Tunisia and the Shiite Fatimids from Egypt. Balaam was a leading political and cultural Muslim city. The Emirate of Sicily was both wealthy and cosmopolitan and reflected an upsurge in trade and agriculture. It was one of the leading affluent European cities. Sicily became multilingual and tolerated many religions. A unique Arab Byzantine culture evolved. Its legacy is the island's agriculture, the crops, the food and the architecture. The Emirate of Sicily began to splinter through disagreements between the regional Muslim emirs. The Normans exploited the disputes between the Muslim emirs and even used Muslim soldiers for the Norman army in Sicily. The Sicilians and Muslim soldiers were defeated in 1063 
at the Battle of Cherami. In 1068, Roger beat Ayub at the Battle of Mizil Mary. The Norman Roger I invaded Sicily in 1071 and Palermo fell to the Normans in 1072 after a five month siege in a decisive battle. The Norman Kingdom began in 1130 led by Roger II of Sicily with the support of Pope Innocent II. Roger was crowned by someone else, the anti-pope Anacletus II, because at the time there was a dispute over who had the right to be pope. Palermo was the capital of the Norman Kingdom of Sicily. Roger allowed multiculturalism and multiple religions in the Kingdom of Sicily. Normans, Jews, Muslims, Byzantine Greeks, mainland Italians and native Sicilians all coexisted peaceably. In 1139, Pope Innocent II excommunicated Roger for opposing the Pope. Roger now focused on centralising the government in Sicily and making the laws consistent. He also beat off numerous invasions at the same time. The Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II had a major influence on the history of Sicily. In 1140, Frederick began to revolutionise the legal system and establish what would today be recognised as a modern centralised state. He also established the primacy of a single written law across the island. After the death of Frederick, a period of instability ensued. The Pope conspired with Charles of Anjou to give Sicily new leadership. Charles of Anjou was loyal to the Pope, but for a price. The Hohenstaufen rule in Sicily ended after 1266. Charles of Anjou was now King of Sicily. In 1282, there was a popular un uprising against the Angevin rule, known as the Sicilian Vespers. Charles of Anjou was ejected from the island of Sicily, despite stubborn support from the Pope. Palermo was ruled by the Kingdom of Spain between 1479 and 1718. Charles III chose Palermo for his coronation as King of Sicily. He built new houses for the increasing population and trade flourished at this time. Otherwise, Palermo was neglected. Charles's son, Ferdinand I, was hated by the Sicilians and they were greatly displeased when he sought refuge in Palermo after the French Revolution in 1798. In 1848, Giuseppe Lamaza led a popular uprising in Palermo. A parliament and a constitution were proclaimed and a president appointed by the name of Ruggiero Settimo. The Bourbons quickly retook Palermo in 1849. General Garibaldi liberated Palermo in 1860. In 1866, a new Palermo uprising only ended after martial law was imposed. Palermo began to expand. Art Nouveau style buildings were all the rage. During the Second World War, Palermo was heavily bombed by the Allied air forces as a precursor to the Allied invasion of Sicily in 1943. The harbour and the surrounding area was devastated and there were heavy civilian casualties. In 1946, Palermo hosted the regional parliament in the Palazzo dei Nonmanni. Palermo has always struggled with organised crime. There is anecdotal evidence that the fascist regime of Mussolini expelled criminal families from Sicily only for them to return to power in 1943. The infamous sack of Palermo was the uncontrolled urban sprawl between the 1950s and the 1980s, which also heavily benefited organised crime. The population of Palermo swelled as people left the countryside to work in the city. Organised crime in some ways 
exploded in the 1980s and 90s with the Maxi trial and the notorious assassinations of Falcone and Bozzolino. Italy and Sicily as a whole have struggled with the fallout from this period which brought the state to its knees. UNESCO World Heritage Sites litter Palermo and Sicily. Palazzo dei Nonmanni, the Norman Palace, was a Norman seat of power which was also used by the Sicilian school of poets. It also houses the famed Cabella Palatina. The Ziza and Cuba castles were used by kings for hunting and recreation. Palazzo Chiaramonte was the home of the Spanish viceroys of Sicily and also the centre of the religious inquisition in Sicily. Palazzina Cinese was the royal residence of the House of Bourbon. Teatro Massimo, the greatest theatre, opened in 1897 and boasts glorious acoustics. The famous singer Enrico Caruso starred here and the ending of the movie The Godfather 3 was also filmed here with Al Pacino. Palermo hosts a professional football team founded by an English family by the name of Whitaker.